regular expression. Uh, last time I also missed one thing that is quite important. Huh? I forgot to tell you that there is a bunch of example program that I put on a public domain, this uh, uh, OpenShift. And the uh, example is here. So you can go to your, uh, sorry, I go to the first page. The first page is here. So you can go in here. Uh, this is about the second set of examples. Then there are three directories. We already passed the basic. Basically, it's about the date, the list, the basic Python, and also the shell script program. Then we will go to the record expression part. And the record expression part, uh, if you want to download all the files, just click the all files stop zip, then you can download all things. Uh, every year, people prompt me for one feature. Yeah, is there any one button download for every example? Yeah, no, go, go to download it by yourself. Okay, I don't want to write it. Uh, so we have a certain applications that you play with regular expression. Uh, the notes itself are just like telling you a story, okay? But we can go directly head on on the usage, okay? So last time we talked about the usage in uh, matching something. So why is it like that? Huh? Every time we say that it's going ever uh, drain all the battery, but when we place the battery and plug it in again, it said that it's full of battery. Yeah, it's mainly charge. Yeah, no, this, now this is two, two of our three battery. I mean, I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I, I, I'm by that, okay. So this is the thing that we already covered, okay. So uh, we can try. What is the mean of try? Uh? I will go ahead and when we encounter something new, I will stop, okay. So let's take a look at the examples here. So the example here is like this. I want you to do the following. Very easy, yeah? Quite easy. Is that uh, I give you a, a string, okay? Just like a file extension, okay? So previous uh, example, this is a previous example, right? If you have followed the, followed the lecture, this is a previous example that uh, we want to match something, okay? So the Function, okay. The function, or I shouldn't say function, is method, okay. The method that you try to mesh whether that string containing a txt there is dot file, okay. But dot file has certain uh, bad thing. One of the bad thing is it's don't know uh, the case sensitivity, okay. You just uh, find a, uh, you say that it's all lowercase, then you look for all lowercase, okay. And you cannot position that txt. Okay, maybe you have this kind of input, then it will also say that, yeah, I find it EXT, okay? So just, just like that you're using your word, okay? You control M and then search for a string and that's it, okay? So you don't want something like this, okay? Because our extension, uh, oh no, extension our application, we want to match whether you provide a string is a file name, let's say. Whether the file name contains the extension .txt, okay? So how can you do it if you are only have the file? Basically, it is yeah, it's hopeless. You cannot extend this I and I. Why can't I? Why, why can I? Why can I only have this? Okay. So then you need regular expression, huh? So the regular expression is like this. So this is a pattern. I will skip ahead and then we will revisit the pattern. So the pattern, uh, let's say. Uh, I, why I say this? Okay, you win. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go here. The file extension example. So uh, I have a list here. I cannot spell L I S T. Okay, L S I T is is a type. Okay, so I call it L S T. I skip the I. Okay. So let's say we have a list here. A uh, list of test cases. Okay, we are do we are doing the. Do you know what's T D D? How many of you know T D D? Never heard of that. Test driven development. Okay, you all have taken software engineering, right? No. Taking. Taking. Okay, all have taken, right? Why you never heard of TDD? Yeah, a TDD is not a TD. There's a, a, a pet sign because what? TDD, right? There's, there's a poison. Okay, TDD. Okay, test driven development. Okay, very very popular way to development uh, to develop software, you first specify a test case and then we implement it. Implement a program. 
So it is the reverse, right? Whenever we give you give you a specification as a as a homework, okay, we never tell you about the test case, and you guess the test case, right? But the real software engineering is not doing that. They give a test case. Let's say I I follow the TDD style. I set up some test case first, okay? And by looking at the test case, because this program is easy, you already know what is the answer, right? For this guy, uh, is it a extension, file extension, having TXT? Now this depends, right? Some people will say this case is yes, okay? This case, some people will say yes because uh, we can really create a file called .txt, okay? But uh, when you call it, call this part as an extension, it's up to you, okay? So that's why I have a two uh, pattern version one and two, okay? Because totally based on this case, I have two two paths. One is I consider this is okay. This is a file extension. Second is no, this is not a file extension. Then next, uh, it's very clear that the file extension is not this yes, this no, okay? So let's go through this. Uh, test case and set up uh, our software or the pattern matching game okay so what's this item is okay we will do it slowly this item one of this uh, first this uh, string all oh, because uh, I don't want that to be uh, like a bad slash and it will it will treat it as an enter okay so because I have one bad slash here I don't want the Python engine to think that oh there's something escape character so I put an out here to say that yeah don't translate those escape okay so this means what this means first of all there's a dot here so what's the dot here first of all let me go back to the slice where is the slice okay so go back go back here so dot means uh, I represent any character that means any character is dot and later on you will also find this escape dot oh yeah I cannot highlight it here okay escape dot that means that I really want to match a dot okay instead of any character so let's go back to take a look at our program itself or maybe I also copy this okay do, 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 do. I, I am not .c, okay, .python, okay, so I already copied it, you can do the same, same thing as I, go to my example page, do a copy and paste, <coughs> now I have the <coughs> things here, and what does this mean, I can change this program to do it slowly with you, okay, so VIM display some awful color, I don't want it, okay, Use pickle. Yeah, there's no color. Yeah. Uh, think about it, okay? When you're giving a given a give, give a system that without any syntax highlights, okay, and you can still live with it, then you are a world class programmer, okay? <laughs> yeah. I can do it, okay? I can do it with press button. Oh you you are even not a world class, okay, alien class, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're alien class very, very powerful. Now let's do it too slowly. So this part this part, uh, uh, the dot asterisk, okay? Do you think that it is necessary? I put it there for purpose. What is the meaning of dot asterisk? Dot means that I want to match any character. And what is asterisk? Yeah, you can flip through the notes. What is asterisk? Zero or more. Zero or more. So, what do you think about this? Is this necessary? If, if I want to match a pattern, I want to search for the string, okay? And to say that, oh, it begins with a anything. And that anything can be nothing. Yeah, philosophical. Maybe anything, but anything can be nothing. So it seems to be, uh, yeah, it sucks, okay? But I keep it there. Later on, because I want to bring about some variation in front of the class, okay? So it means that I want to match anything. or you can omit that anything as well because it's match more than more than equal to zero times. Then we match another thing. So what is this part? What is this part? So I, I use a mouse. Use a mouse. It means I want to match exactly one dot, and after that exactly one dot, I want to match THC. 
if I can find this pattern inside a string, then what is that? I will say if this pattern search, search pattern, what is S, S is from the list, okay? The list has four guys. I pick one guy and do a search. If yes, that's good. If no, then I will say not match. All right? Then I will execute the program. Maybe I open another terminal. Okay. Python test.py. Okay? So the first guy say match. Okay? So it's matched. But what if I said that this the beginning of the of the regular expression seems to be funny, right? You want to match something. But it can be something which is empty. I don't want it. I don't want it. What about I change it in this symbol? Can you go to flip my notes? What this symbol plus means? One, one yeah, more than one. Oh, sorry, one and zero. One and zero is this one, right? Then, if I change it in this way and look at my test case, what can you say about my test case? Number one, or the zero slot? Not match. Not match, right? It said not match. Save. Execute again. Then the first case will say not match. So it, that's why I say that it's, I put it there on purpose. It's based on whether you want to match this dot txt and consider dot txt as a valid extension or not. It totally depends on your definition. I didn't say clear about it. Okay. So let me change it into a, back to the original one. Now, what is this dollar sign? Ah, this dollar sign seems to be funny, yeah? Does it mean that I want to match a dollar there? But you cannot find any dollar there. Can you look at my notes? It should be something uh, in, a, in, a, in the end of the free table. There's a free tables there. This free tables, one, one, two, three. Oh, no. It's, or, it's on the first table. I forgot about it. Okay. Can you find a dollar sign? Dollar sign means match X at the end of the strike. So that means that this is the end of the strike. Now, let me ask you, if I remove this, what can you say about my test cases? Right, go through my test case, what will happen? The last one will match. The last one will match, okay? Let's take a look, huh? save. And well, yeah, I, I want to make it very easier to view it. Okay, so you say match. You say match. Why? Because the dollar sign is missing, right? So what I'm looking for in my regular expression is like this. I want to have this entire part. Okay, I move all the guys here. The entire part here has to be the end of a string and with a dot. Okay. Now, inside my test case, there is actually a case that I missed. Okay? There is a case that I missed. I want to add one more case. And you tell me, what do you think about it? Okay? The case that I missed is this case. Oh, sorry. The last one. What did you say about this case? Do you want to match it? Or do you consider, uh, I, I should say, which part is an extension? If it's a, a new create, to treat it as a as a Unix type of file, okay? Then it will be dot txt, the last dot txt will be an extension, right? Now, if that's the case, will my regular expression there match it or not? Match. Match. Let's take a look. Okay, uh, clear it, execute again. So it says match, right? But what if I change my problem a little bit? I want to say the following. I only want to have one dot in my file name. I only want to have one dot. Here is two dots. I, when I have two dots, I don't know what is an extension. So I say that this file name 
is something that I cannot recognize and I say no match. Change the, change the yes, yeah. Change the square bracket might be going to one. Your, 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 your way to say this is very interesting, okay? Again, tell me character type character. Square bracket. Square bracket. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And? This one. And then? And then? This one. Okay. So, can anybody follow what he is saying? Uh, is this the same as your answer? You want the same? No. You have another version, okay? So your version is like this? I don't know. Like this? Yeah. Okay, so your version is this, his version is this, okay? So let's do a vote. Who find this version? Who find this version? Who find this version is correct? Version A. I, you, you don't think of him. That's correct? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> then how about this version? Yeah, you're brave, okay? <laughs> you support your own answer. You don't support his answer. You also think this is the way. <laughs> you guys are funny. Eh? You, you don't even support yourself. Okay? So let's try this version first, okay? Since this version has some faults. Okay? Save. Uh oh. Mmm. Okay, so edit it back. This is the first version. Mm. I forgot at the at at the at the what? At the beginning. Huh? At the beginning. At the beginning. Oh. Yeah, am I in a in a like a in, in my childhood? Okay, there's a way to point. Okay, there's a message there, and then suddenly it's ah, oh, and it's cold. Oh, okay, just like like this. Okay, oh. <laughs> okay, so uh, we we actually have four versions now. Okay, the the two piece turn on or not? Okay, how many of you don't support his idea? Any that? Shift 6, okay? Shift 6 there. How many of you reject it? Yeah, writing right is kind of hard, huh? Especially when it comes to examination, we don't have computers. It means the beginning. This means the beginning of a string should start with a set of alphabets, a set of alphabets, and the alphabet should exclude dots. The beginning, and after that, I want one dot. I want one dot, and after that one dot, I don't want any dot anymore. But txt, then it match. So, let's do it. Yeah, then this time it's no match. And how about this guy? This guy matched. Okay, this guy matched because before the dots. So this is actually the. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I highlighted wrongly. This guy is actually a separator. Before it, I don't want any dots. After it, I also don't want any dots. Okay? But before it, for how long I don't want any dots? From the head of the string to the, delimit the delimiter. I don't want any dots. And after it, I want something, which is CHT. Okay? So based on this construct, Based on the console, actually you know how to match an email address. Yeah, you kind of know how to match an email address. How? Just change it like a the <coughs> delimiter that I highlighted become end, right? And before the end, I don't want any end to appear. And after that end, I also don't want any end to appear, right? But of course, uh, email address has a kind of a restriction like the the, ex the extended, not extended domain part, okay? At least have two uh, items there, okay? So it's become hard, right? So this is the first example. The first example is not not easier. Eh? Now, how about the second example? The second example is <laughs> if if I allow you to do to use scan app, okay, it will be a piece of cake. 
Okay? I want I want to give you a string. Okay? You tell me whether it's a IP address or not. If you use scanf, it's easy. Okay? If it's no scanf, how would you do it? And is it the the solution? Let's take a look at this solution, huh? I have my laser. Where's the laser? Okay. So you will match, what is this? Can you flip my notes to the first page? I mean, just first page or second page? It should be se second page, huh? My notes, second page of the regular expression table. Okay? So these two guys. These two guys. <coughs> right? You can decide for how many times to match something. Okay? So what is this about? This backslash D, can you speak, also flip my slope so that I don't show it here? Flip my logs, what is backslash D? One digit. Huh? One digit. One digit. Only one digit, right? So what this concatenates together, what does it mean? Eh? One to three digits. Okay? And then we have our dots. One to three digits, we have a dot. One to three digits in a dot. So and so forth. Okay? Is it something good? In terms of the format, it's good. Right? But we will have something like uh, this. It's valid. Now, how can you avoid this? How can you avoid this? The next step is, uh, that's why I said that if you have scanf, it solve everything, right? Because scanf allows you to take this out, take this out, take this out, take this out, and do a comparison of every numbers, right? Now in Python, how can you get those pattern out? We call this pattern extraction. The pattern extraction is a kind of a, I don't, I don't say hard, but you have to remember the syntax. Okay, so let's take a look at what is the meaning of the match object. We just want to see the output is okay, okay? So the output, where is it? E? Match object, match object, where are you? E? Okay, I cannot find it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh no, where is it? I want a group zero. Can you see the group zero? Ah, oh, here. Okay. So when assuming it just change everything. Yeah, this. Who write this responsive, responsive thing? Group zero. Ah, yeah. Group zero. I want this group zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what? What is the group here? The group here when you have made it. You can save it into the M object. M object is called a match object. And you can go through it one by one. Now this is something very really interesting. Even Charles could do something like this. One of the items inside the group that you match is the entire thing that you match. Okay? And if you want to go through it piece by piece, so what is the meaning of piece by piece? Maybe this example is hard to see. Let's take a look at our example. Our example is like this. We improve the previous vector expression and add brackets there. Brackets, 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 okay? And every time when it match the pattern, let's say the entire pattern match, and this bracket will be extracted become one of the objects items. The first match item, we'll call it number one. Second is two, three, four. And where the zero, the zero is an entire string that you match. Okay, so zero is something that you don't need it. And one, two, three, four is something that you need. Now this is very simple now. You you just extract it using range, okay? I remember last time I forgot about to, to say what is range. Range means to generate, really generate, it's as if you, it produces an array for you, okay? Array of a one, two, three, four, not including the n point five, okay? Then you can go into the array as if you're doing looping, look for item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, and exclude 5, and then you stop the loop. Now, you extract the, the group items number 1 here, and because it's originally a string, you have to cast it, there's a casting or a conversion or something like that. Huh? You cast it back to the integer and save it to value, then you can do the match. Very easy. So, then, you can take a look at my example. Yeah, I know something. Someone is uh, 
reading this, okay? But uh, yeah, again, we follow the PDD, PDD approach, okay? We set up some test case first. I want this to be matched. This, no match. This, should it match? No. This, no match. Okay, so this only the first guy should match. And we write the things uh, because I, I cannot show the entire screen. Okay, so it's kind of a jump to the next slide, don't worry. Okay. And then we will go on to check whether the value is uh, I consider two five five is a valid number, okay? Although some people disagree with me. Okay, but uh, two five five is still correct, but more than uh, larger than two five five I reject it. Okay. So no one asked any questions? No one asked me this question? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you as well, you, you don't ask that. Yeah, why why I know this? It's greater than two five five, but this minus nine. Anybody feel feel that I my question has a is a is problematic? You think that my question is valid? Yeah, well I get minus nine and because by checking every time I get a video, I only check whether it is bigger than 255. Yeah? No more question about this. Yeah. Or you're so smart, you already recognize the problem. <laughs> no. Yeah, the old. <coughs> yeah, just a bit. Yeah. No, because uh, you you already exclude that in the in the regular expression part with the uh, slash d. Yeah, only zero to nine. No minus sign. Remember, this is a string. Very right? thank you, thank you. This is your, this is the correct answer. The minus is a string, okay? It's a character. It's actually don't match my pattern. As simple as that, okay? Yeah, don't don't be cheated, okay? Don't be cheated. Ah, oh, yeah, high minus sign. Right, 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 right. And then when you look at the page, the page also say that this is not matched. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Uh, if you're using scanf, there's another story. Yeah. All right. Oh, by the way, you don't know what I'm talking about with scanf. Right? Scanf can extract this pattern easily, extremely easily. Now, let's go to the last example. Huh? Okay. So the last example is like this. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know why. You want to cheat your friends. Okay. Your friends has an elbow. The album contains a lot of JPG files. And you want to cheat him, write a script to substitute all his JPG files into every frame. Okay? <laughs> they will open it in Windows, Windows sucks, right? It launched the media player and crashed the machine. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you never try, you can try, okay? Ah, okay. So how can we do it? How can we do it? Very simple, I introduce you the last thing that we want to talk about is substitution. Okay, I use substitution on this very ending. Okay, to substitute a pattern, you use a macro expression to find a pattern, and whenever you find that pattern inside the string, it substitutes it. It substitutes it with the pattern of your targets. What do you think about this program? Yeah. Do you love this? Do you like it? Or do you think it is match your your targets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you cheat your friend, that's okay. Okay. But let's say I my my goal is really not cheating the friends, but I want to change all the extensions, <coughs> JBG to every break. Okay. What do you think? Oh, we have a guess. Uh, today we don't have any guest lecture, okay? Yeah, <laughs> he, he he won't say anything, okay? He just uh, passes by. The final tier is very warm. Yeah. What do you think? It sucks, right? Why it sucks? Let's take a look at this. JBG dot JPG, huh? Okay, so uh, file extension program again. Uh, Oh no, this file says rename, sorry, rename. Rename, okay? So let's say JPG into JPG, it will rename in this way, okay? If my match pattern is JPG, my target pattern is every way. So it will do the following. JPG 
change MP3, the JPG not JPG, the MP3 not MP3. I don't want it. How can you do it? How can you do it? I cut for I cut for off the the answer. The answer is down there in the program. Again, it's going through TDD with some test cases. This one shall I change? Okay. I I consider this is no way. Okay. I don't consider this as a valid file name. I want to have a file name part not empty. Then I will do this translation. Okay. I want to have this guy. Okay, cannot win it because it's already MP3. Now this is JPG. I convert it into this guy. This guy fail of course uh, because it's not a proper extension that I want. How can you do it? Yeah, it's the same as previous example. Okay, quite similar. Let's take a look. Huh? Here is pattern. It's a pattern. But we have a black cat. Now, forget about a packet for a while. Forget about it. We have a dot slash and a slash dot here. Forget about the packet first, okay? Dot plus means that before the extension dots, we have non empty string. Okay, before we have non empty string. And after it is a JPG and it's the end of the string. Of course, you can improve this example, okay? But what is this bracket? This bracket is something really handy. It allows you to extract pattern. Okay. Now let's do the next part. Okay. It allows you to extract the pattern and copy and paste to this location. Yeah, it's copy and paste. Extract, copy and paste. So whenever you find a hollow dot JPG, it will extract hollow and box. Okay. Uh, you you can come up with another solution. But my solution is. Let's say hello, hello will match dot plus, no problem. <laughs> oh, and then dots. Okay, and copy and paste the hello dots here, and we know hello dots and we break. Extraction. It's extraction. And this extraction also happened inside VIM. Okay, so let's do it. VIM is a little bit funnier. Okay, so VIM, huh? oh, here. Let's do the following. Uh, hello dot mp3. I want to change mp3 into jpg this time. Okay. Then vim. Uh, the instruction is is similar. Uh, it be began with s means substitution. Okay. I'm typing here. So we can do the same thing. Uh, black cat dot plus. But vim. I don't know why it sucks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, although I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, someone don't agree with me, it sucks, but it requires yeah. all the escapes here. Regular expression. <laughs> yeah, VIM, really regular expression really sucks, okay? Then, I just do a copy and paste, okay? Maybe I really copy and paste it. Okay, so this is the part. I copied it. And then, yeah, this. And this is Mac, okay? This is not, uh, Windows sucks, okay? You are using Windows. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're using you're using some bucky software, so so I I don't this don't 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 escape it. The plus is also escape. Okay, the this guy also escape. Then you replace this using this pattern. Pattern is uh, this pattern. Okay, slash one mv3 slash one mv3. Again, uh, there's no. Problem here. When I do it, it fails. Okay, because why? Uh, my yeah, my things here is wrong. Okay, <laughs> uh, JPG. Okay, then already highlighted. So smart. Yeah, it changed. Okay, undo and do it again. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I uh, do it again. Change. Okay. So this is also happen inside Python. It's also use pair slash one to represent the first pattern you match. Now, how about the second pattern? If I do the following, I first copy the entire code here. Uh, I this is my way to name file. If testing is just I just I just test and testing and then testing testing. Okay, so uh, I don't need the version two. Okay, uh, maybe I need version two. I don't need version one. 
Delete it. Delete it. Okay. So actually, we can do this again, again, and again. How about I bracket this JPG? Okay. And put it here. So then you can copy and paste the two guys. Of course, this is meaningless. How about I do this? Okay, do you know what I'm doing? Oh, of course, I missed something. Do you know what I'm doing? Before JPG, I grab everything. I before saw JPG, I grab everything. And I reverse that. And I reverse that. So let's do it. Ah, sorry, I, I mix it up with a VIM. Python testing. py run. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Yo yo. Why it becomes something like this? Uh. Why? Oh, I know. Why? 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 Yeah. Good. Yeah, I can. I can reverse this. This two part. Okay. So you can do whatever you want as long as you have record expressions. Okay. So why I teach so many record expressions? Because in terms of parsing, okay, you you need a lot of record expressions. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can stop for a while, okay? 